Well, my name's Felix Rebel. I'm on tour with the Cat Empire in Canada and America. It's been a, it's been a while since you guys have done a, a big tour. When was the last one? Uh, the last one was in December last year, November, December in Europe and the UK. And that was, that was, you know, actually we've done sort of three or four big tours for the 10th anniversary. And we're into our 11th year, the beginning of our 11th year now, but we're still doing the last chapter. And then after this tour, um, we go into a writing phase. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stay overseas and go down to South America and try and write new songs for a, a new album. Bob Dylan's still on his you know, tour that he started 20 years ago, so you can just keep the 10th anniversary going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I suppose so. I saw Bob Dylan <laughs> for this Sun Continued tour. It was, it was really interesting. The, um, no, I mean, look, this is like this tour at the moment is kind of a line in the sand if, in terms of the, um, the songs that have been... It's been like a premiership team of songs, you know, but like they're kind of getting old now. And so we're giving them their last last dash at glory, um, and then hopefully we're going to have a, something really new to to go forward with. And that's that's a whole different way of thinking for me, really, in terms of production and and what the stage show might look like and stuff like that. So it is at the end of at the end of this run, I'm going to go away for three months and and just get away and really try and rethink the Cat Empire, which which is really exciting. What is next, do you think? I mean, have you guys started writing new material? We've started, yeah. We've, we're in the very early phases. Um, what's next is is a new album, um, really, and that's um, well, like I said, it's something that, that I'm I'm trying to think about a new Cat Empire, it's something that's got the the same spirit, but which in terms of production and in terms of songwriting and um, the kinds of shows we do and and the kind of, look, I can't describe something that hasn't been written, but my feeling about it is it's it's got to be something kind of new and reinvented, and so. That's, that's what's coming up, and we'll tour that probably next year. It'll come out, I imagine, in March, God willing, and we'll see what happens. How much does the solo projects from you and from Harry, how much does that kind of influence where you think that direction might go? Well, I think the, um, the solo projects, which are really just an extension of, of people's songwriting, really, and probably something more, more personal, give this band um, the contrast it needs you know like when I when I write songs which are not for the Cat Empire it's a it's a very kind of singular experience whereas when I go to write for the Cat Empire now I, I actually think about all of the festivals we've played and I think about you know all of the um, the kind of diverse energy in the band and and use that as a, as a way to imagine songs and come up with them so it's stylistically very much like writing for a project and in order to do that, to give it, you know, the kind of, um, you know, the kind of energy and, and theatricality that it needs, the um, solo projects are quite good because they, they come from a, a more natural place, whereas this is still natural, but it's got that extra um, chaos involved, you know? Now, looking back to the early days, you had, you know, very quick success uh, from memory over in, especially in Canada, there was a, an immediate reaction to you over here. Is that, is that true? There was, I mean, especially in, in Quebec, um, in Montreal, Sherbrooke, Quebec City. Uh, we'd never been and, and we, we sort of crossed the border and we had an, an, an amazing response straight away. You know, that sort of um, super packed out kind of crazy energy that, we get in, that we'd had in Europe after quite a few tours. And it sort of took off immediately there. And then from there, it kind of spread throughout Canada and it's, it's always been a fantastic place to play live. Um, yeah, one of the band's favourites. Um, you know, you're part of you know, one of the headlining artists of the Canadian Music Week. You see a lot of younger bands who are you know, following your footsteps, essentially, and Australian bands as well. What advice would you have to give to, especially an Australian band who's trying to come over to this part of the world? I think, um, I think I'm not so good at giving advice, really, because I, I don't quite know how we did what we did. I think, in very basic terms, um, we tried to give a lot at each show, we still do, that's, that's part of the band's um, unspoken motto I suppose, that, that we, we give as much as we can and, and try to be as creative and, and as possible and try and enjoy ourselves as much as possible. Um, you know, that's not always, not always the case but for the most part that, that's what this band's been able to give and I think that um, that in combination with the songs and the atmosphere of, of how the music travels has, has led to 
a word of mouth and a really, really good ground, loyal following of supporters that, that you know, make it worthwhile every night. And that's how we've been a fortunate band. We've got great, great supporters who really, really make the shows a lot of fun for us. And, um, and we try to give that back. And I think it's... I think it's easy for bands who have had some level of success to say this is what you should do or this is a secret, but the truth is, is I don't really know um, what those secrets are. I just know that uh, I enjoy writing songs and I enjoy performing them as much as possible and the rest is just working and making the most of it.